Hello, I am Tohin, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today, I am going to show you how to resolve connection refused or connection timeout errors when trying to connect to an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance with SSH. Let's get started. There are a few things to check before investigating in connection timeout or connection refuse errors. Does the EC2 instance pass all hell checks? Are the security group, network ACL and route table configured properly to allow connectivity between EC2 instance and the SSH client? As you can see, I am already logged into the AWS management console. I'll navigate to the EC2 console. On the EC2 homepage, in the navigation pane, choose Instances. Choose the instance that's having an SSH connectivity issue. Select the Status Check tab and then confirm that both status checks are marked as passed as shown here. After that, select the Security tab and then confirm that inbound rules are configured to allow incoming traffic on TCP port 22. Next, select the Networking tab and then choose the subnet ID. When the subnet page opens, select the subnet ID. Select the Network ACL tab and then confirm ACL rules allow incoming traffic on TCP port 22 and outgoing return traffic from instances ephemeral ports to the connecting client. Note that while security group are stateful and allow traffic based on response to previous traffic, network ACL are stateless and don't track the state of connection. This means that we must allow the return traffic as well in the network ACL. Here in my case, I can see we have the default network ACL rule which allow traffic on port 22. Finally, select the route table tab and then confirm that it's configured properly to provide connectivity between EC2 instance and the SSH client. If these steps don't resolve the error, then we must verify that there isn't a firewall blocking the connection, that the SSH service daemon is running on the instance, and the SSH TCP port 22 is in the listening state. There are four methods for performing these tasks. Let's go through each of them. Method 1. Use the EC2 Serial Console for Linux. Note that EC2 Serial Console only works with supported Nitro-based instance type and the access to EC2 Serial Console must be turned on from the account level. Also, instances that uses the Serial Console must include at least one password-based Linux user with sudo access. For more information, see the use the serial console for Linux link in the video description. As you can see, I'm already logged into the AWS management console. Now I'll navigate to the EC2 console. On the EC2 home page in the navigation pane, choose instances. Choose the instance that's having the SSH connectivity issue and then select connect. After the serial console appears, press enter to get the OS login prompt. Login using any OS level username and password. Here I am using EC2 hyphen user. After successfully logging into the OS, disable the firewall. The following firewall command flushes all main IP table rules, not just for port 22. Next, restart the SSS service. Verify that SSH port 22 is in a listening state. Make sure that the TCP wrapper isn't blocking an SSH connection. The following command activates an SSH connection from all source in slash etc slash host.allow file and only if host.allow or host.deny file is available. Otherwise, the command returns an error, no such file or directory which suggests that the TCP wrapper isn't turned on in the system. The following command string is available in the article link to the video. Exit from Serial Console. Now try to connect to the instance using SSH. Method 2. Use AWS Systems Manager Session Manager. To use this method, 
the instance must be an SSM manage instance and its SSM agent ping status must be online. I am already logged in to the AWS management console. I'll navigate to the system manager console. On the system manager homepage, in the navigation pane, choose session manager. Choose start session. Choose the instance and then select start session. After the session starts, follow the instruction described in the previous method to turn off OS firewall, verify SSH service is running and listening on port 22 and confirm that TCP wrapper isn't blocking SSH connection. Method 3. Run the AWS support troubleshoot SSH automation document. From the system manager homepage in the navigation page, choose automation and then select execute automation. In the search field, enter AWS support troubleshoot SSH and then select the document. In the execute automation document section, choose simple execution. In the input parameter section, specify the following parameters. For instance ID, specify the ID of the unreachable instance. For action, select fix all. For allow offline, select false or true based on your requirement. Choose execute. Allow the automation to complete successfully and then use SSH to connect to the instance. Method 4. Use a EC2 user data script. If none of the methods described previously works in your environment, then use an EC2 user data script. Because this procedure requires stopping and starting the EC2 instance, be aware that if the instance is instance store bagged or has instance store volume containing data, the data is lost when the instance is stopped. Stopping and starting instance changes the public IP address of the instance. It's a best practice to use an elastic IP address instead of a public IP address. If the instance is part of an Amazon EC2 auto scaling group, then stopping the instance will cause auto scaling group to terminate the instance. From the AWS EC2 management console, choose instances from the navigation pane and then select the instance that you are trying to connect to. Choose instance state and stop the instance. After the instance status is stopped, choose actions, instance setting, select edit user data. Copy the following user data script into the new user data dialog box and then choose save. This script is also in the knowledge center article linked in the video description. Start the instance and then check the SSH connectivity. Finally, note that this user data script is set to run on every reboot of the instance. After regaining access to your instance, clear the user data script section that you just added. Note that doing this requires another stopping and starting of the instance. And now you know how to resolve connection refused or connection timeout error when trying to connect to an EC2 instance with SSH. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.